Merry Christmas, everyone. I'm Georgiana, your English teacher, and my mission is to help you speak English fluently. And if you want to help me, share the podcast with your friends and family. It's almost Christmas, and today I will talk about Christmas markets in New York. And with a fun mini story, you will improve your speaking. And if you need to give something special for Christmas, consider buying my premium courses. Visit speakenglishpodcast.com slash courses and get my English programs at an exceptional price. Okay, let's talk about Christmas markets in New York. What are you planning to do on Christmas? I recommend to fly to New York because the best Christmas markets are here. New York's holiday markets often include ice skating, twinkling lights, great food vendors, and fun holiday activities. Plus, you can make your Christmas shopping a positive and relaxing experience. You could start by visiting Bryant's Park Winter Village. One of the highlights of this market is the 17,000 square foot ice skating rink, which is free to use if you bring your skates. And after ice skating, you could go and visit the fad market. Each season, the fad market, which stands for fashion, art, and design, takes over a different Brooklyn venue with a bunch of independent vendors and creators. Here you'll find New York City's emerging brands, designers, and small businesses offering a curated selection of handmade jewelry, clothing, skincare, tableware, and much more. And after all this activity, you should go to the Columbus Circle Holiday Market, which is one of the most iconic holiday markets. The uptown counterpart to the Union Square Holiday Markets offers shoppers a feast for the eyes and for the stomach. Are you having fun? Let's practice speaking with a fun mini-story. Mini-stories are excellent for improving fluency. The goal is to answer without mentally translating it into your native language. That's why I recommend short and quick answers. You can pause if necessary. Come on, let's get started. After listening to Georgiana's podcast, Tom traveled to New York to explore the Christmas markets. What did Tom do for Christmas? Stay at home? No, no. Tom didn't stay at home. He traveled for Christmas. Where did Tom go? To Hawaii? No. Tom went to New York. He didn't travel to Hawaii. Why did he travel to New York? For business purposes, no, not for business purposes. He traveled to New York to explore the Christmas markets, Christmas shops, or markets. Christmas markets. Tom traveled to New York 
to explore the Christmas markets. Did Tom travel to New York with his mom? No, no, not with his mom. Tom traveled to New York alone. Tom went ice skating at Bryant Park's Winter Village and ate some delicious local treats at the Columbus Circle Holiday Market. Tom went roller skating, right? No, no. Tom went ice skating. Where did he go ice skating? Finland? No, no. He didn't go ice skating in Finland. He went ice skating in New York at Bryant Park's Winter Village. Did Tom eat anything? Yes, he ate something. What exactly did he eat? Can you remember? Yes, he ate some delicious local treats at the Columbus Circle Holiday Market. After a few hours, he rested on a park bench. Next to him, there was a girl named Elsa, and they began to have a lively conversation. What did Tom do after some hours? Rest or play tennis? Tom didn't play tennis. After a few hours, Tom rested on a park bench. Was there someone next to him? Yes. Next to Tom, there was a girl. What was her name? Elsa. Her name was Elsa. Elsa? As in Elsa from Frozen? Exactly. Her name was Elsa. Just like the princess from Frozen. Was Elsa an actual princess? Well, we don't know that. We know she was sitting next to Tom in New York. It turned out that Elsa also traveled to New York after listening to Georgiana's podcast. What a coincidence! Why did Elsa travel to New York? Because Georgiana told her students to explore the Christmas markets in New York. When did Elsa travel to New York? Before or after listening to the podcast? After Elsa listened to the Speak English Now podcast, she traveled to New York, not before. Was it coincidentally that Elsa and Tom traveled to New York after listening to the podcast? Yes, it was an amazing coincidence. But the shocking part was that they met in New York. As they rose from the bench, 
Elsa grabbed Tom's hand. He smiled shyly. Did Elsa give Tom a rose? No, no. Elsa didn't give Tom a rose. They rose from the bench. Who grabbed Tom's hand? Santa? Elsa. Elsa grabbed Tom's hand, not Santa. Did Tom get angry? No, no. He didn't get angry. He smiled. He smiled shyly when Elsa grabbed his hand. Was Tom shy or bold? Shy. Tom was shy. He wasn't bold. Tom smiled shyly. Tom and Elsa had one wish for Christmas, to encounter someone to love. Who had a wish for Christmas? Elsa and Tom. They had a wish for Christmas. What kind of wish? Did they have the same wish? Yes, they both wanted to encounter someone to love. Okay, that's the end of this Christmas story. I hope you enjoyed practicing your speaking. And if you need to give something special for Christmas, consider buying my premium courses. Visit speakenglishpodcast.com slash courses and get my English programs at an exceptional price. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year!